basically I'm trying to reach individuals who are seeking to change their workout routine, who's tired of doing the same old stuff over and over, I'm trying to give them direction on how to implement new strategies on how to make your workouts effective. I'm trying to see individuals who were at one point fit and at the same time they're trying to get back into the regimen, just giving a, a new twist on how to you know bring creativity to the table, change your workout within your workout. You know, to have no clue how to lift the weight, how to do a bench press properly, how to do a pull up, how to do a leg extension properly, and just for individuals who don't know where to start. My name is Zach Gonadakis. I met RT uh, in 2006 here at Malone College. We were sweet mates, um, just kind of by chance. We uh, lived together, started to grow together, um, found ourselves in the weight room lifting and just kind of built a friendship from there. We'll start with the close grip bench, 12 to 15 reps. Then we'll come over here to the pullover press. We'll get about 10 to 12 reps. We're gonna do about four sets, super set back to back. So we keep that uh, muscle growing and uh, get a good pump. Biggest thing, wanna see a little bit of a slimmer waist, more athletic look. Uh, I'm looking to gain muscle. So in terms of like losing weight, uh, I'm pretty much where I think my lowest weight should be. Um, I'm a big guy, I'm 6'9", so I, I can carry a little more. Uh, I'd like to build up a little bit, obviously bulk up, improve uh, you know, overall arm size, chest size, and so forth. Uh, but not looking for like a, a beastly look. I want that athletic, um, slim look to make myself you know, uh, look like I can pretty much do anything. And do you think that you can achieve those results with uh, Roland's program? Absolutely. I mean, take a look at him. He's he's kind of the um, example that I'm trying to follow. You know, being with him for as long as I have, everywhere we go, people are always asking, you know, what sport you play, you play in the NFL and stuff. And um, is encouraging as encouraging as I believe it is for him, it's encouraging for me that I get to be around a guy like that, you know, uh, and learn from him and feed off of him. Um, just his great knowledge for physical fitness and well being. I find that ready to One, two, three, five. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Usually I'm getting in gear about an hour before. I mean, I'm making sure uh, down to, you know, the nutritional aspect that I'm, I typically like to eat about two hours before we're going to hit the gym. Um, I like to take some type of a vitamin or supplement before we get in here just because I know uh, the, the expense that, I, you know, I'm going to be expelling so much energy and, and the stuff that I need. Um, I need that extra little boost. But, and it's a lot of mental preparation. You know, we're usually communicating on what we're planning on doing when we get into the gym. And I always know that that's kind of the base level and it's gonna exceed that because we always get in here and go, oh, let's add this and let's do this. And, you know, uh, neither of us are ever backing down from each other. Um, and we're always looking to push. So, I mean, it's almost like, you know, me being an athlete, going into a game situation where you're preparing for that game time, uh, you want to perform your best and, you know, listen, whether it's listening to some music, usually I'm driving over here and I'm getting kind of crazy in my car, just really get my mind focused. Uh, once we step in the gym, everything else is forgotten. Okay, we're going to move to the next exercise. 
tricep row pull down. So we isolate the back of the arm, the tricep. We're gonna go single arm, uh, seven halfway, seven full. Switch arm, seven halfway, seven full. Then we're gonna take it behind our neck and do seven half, seven full, and then seven halfway again. Kind of like a 21 isolation. Let's get it. <laughs> so we really want to isolate the tricep to really blow it up, especially for the summertime. You know, we, we really don't talk much about what's going on outside maybe until after the workout because it's focused on, you know, the task at hand and uh, what we want to accomplish. So you would say that uh, Roland is a good motivator in the sense of keeping morale up during the workout? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you walk in, he's got a smile on his face, you know, uh, it's always positive and it's, it's always an aspect of, you know, how far can we push ourselves and, you know, um, always staying free from injury, you know, not pushing it so far, but um, just really building me up, you know, you got this, you got this. Uh, sometimes it takes a little more uh, talking from him and, and really getting me motivated, but uh, he's just, he's a constant positive attitude. You know, I've never seen the guy get angry um, in a bad way in the gym. Sometimes he screams at the weights, but uh, it, it, it's all in good fun and, and, you know, trying to get at each other and motivate each other as best we can. Yep. Good. Yep. And um, are you familiar with his meal plans at all? Yeah, I got online, looked at, uh, you know, what he has uh, set out there. We've actually developed some meal plans together and everything. And, you know, living with the guy for a couple of years, I mean, we talk about it. I've, I've witnessed kind of the way he um, feeds his body and everything. And, uh, you know, he's given me great resources to go to. Uh, to really just get an idea of what's going to work for me because what works for him definitely does not work the same for me. Um, so there are those adjustments that you need to make uh, to get the best results possible. Good, good. So his meal plan is something that whether you're part of the Focus program or not, it is something that you would suggest someone to go online and check out and see if they want to make oh, a change. Oh, absolutely, because, you know, there's so much uh, diversity in it that you can custom it to, you know, maybe you don't have the time to hit the gym four or five times a week. You're only going two, three times. Well, obviously your calories are going to have to be down and so forth, but there's so much variety in it that, uh, that you know, it, it's tailored to anyone. Man, for an arm day, a lot of other stuff's, you know, small enough, feeling good. Um, just after that first lift with the uh, close grip and everything, getting that heavy stuff out of the way, and a lot of repetitions, so making sure that each one um, was focused, you know, that the muscle that we were trying to work was really um, getting all the tension, all, all the effort, uh, you know, and that incorporates a lot of your other body, you know, really just trying to put the focus on that one area because a lot of times, you know, you're going to want to be swinging or, you know, using your legs or something uh, to get extra strength. But, you know, that's where the kind of no pride comes in. You, you pick the weight that's going to allow you to do it right. Um, you know, we're not power lifters in here. We're not trying to uh, see the most weight that we can lift. You know, eventually we'll, we'll work our ways up, but, you know, the the weights themselves are a tool. Uh, you use the weight that's gonna force you um, to get the best reps, to grow, uh, to really pump up the muscle and so forth. And, and there's a fine line in trying to find those, but right now, I mean, it's just all over. You know, we, we work the arms and then we work our way through the body uh, to the core, you know, everything else along the way. You know, my chest is a little pumped up. We didn't really do much with that today. Um, legs are feeling it just from doing the core stuff. So definitely one of the top ones we've had so far. Girl, what's your like saying, man? Whatever you gotta do, whatever you can do, don't try to do something you can't do. Um, really, really focus on the form, not so much heavy weight, because some of you people think the heavier I go, the bigger I'll get. Yeah. I gotta come here and be a power, but we're not powerlifters, man. We just come in and just do what we do. Um, I'm gonna get 
in the here, in here again to, to, to hit other body parts, but we just come in here and just get in and get out. It was less than an hour workout, and uh, we maximized our time. So, it is. Good. Believe.